between Tony Ferguson and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Training at the American Kickboxing Academy under Javier Mendez and of course under the leadership of his father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is not a man you want on top of you. This is not a man you want to get punched in the face by. Plus skills in all areas of mixed martial arts for the Dagestan Russian born Khabib the Eagle Nurmagomedov who is putting together one of the greatest legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. This guy has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close enough for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. finishers in the history of the UFC. Tony El Kukui Ferguson, still a top five guy and likely will be for the balance of his UFC career, as devastating a finisher as there is at 155 pounds. Tony El Kukui Ferguson tonight gracing the octagon yet again. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is four years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliotta. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler. Professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down ready? right now. You ready? Let's well, play. it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Just remarkable to see where Ferguson has come since season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter. Well, this is chopping up a lead leg 101. This is exactly the way you do it as the leg kicks continue to pile up. And you can already start to see his opponent slowing down a little bit. May want to check one of those, bro. Fighters back to their feet here. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. Oh, lands that punch. 
Magomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Big punch. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. And back up again. And just misses with that big right hand. And mixes it up with the kicks. El Kukui gets caught with that punch. Oh, right hook. stances here. And Michael met up and try to further expose what surface tonight is an obvious weakness. Oh! Really a, a Terminator quality, though, to Tony Ferguson. He eats these shots and just keeps moving forward. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. That one hurt. Kukui gets the single leg takedown. Trying to pass from half guard into side control. Can't make it. And he winds up on top. Takes the back. Now going for the rear naked choke. He's got the arm under the chin. And now he's got that arm under the chin. Looking for that choke, traps that arm. Very nicely done. This could be it. This could be it. Oh and my God! Will do it. Round's about to end. Sunk in that submission and got the victory. Right. I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib well, it's becoming a pretty common visual inside that octagon as Khabib Nurmagomedov gets his hand raised yet again here tonight. And when the injuries and the weight cutting issues aren't part of the narrative and we just focus on the combat and this guy's skills, he looks the part of the best lightweight in the world. A lot of people believe that eventually you are looking at a UFC lightweight champion, if not UFC Hall of Famer.